what was up guys we decided to go ahead and uh start these gears so um i'll show you where we're at we got everything stripped down every most of the stuff laid out um we're re getting ready to start pressing new bearings which is exciting this thing these gears were shot i don't know if it's because i put that new yoke on and didn't obviously set a preload i just sent it but i'll show you what we're working with and uh where we're at and i'm just gonna this isn't gonna be a how-to I, I don't even know how to do it myself so for me to make a video informative video telling people how to do it, it's not right because i don't even know how to do it so with that being said uh i'll show you where we're at okay so got this uh carrier emptied out so you can see here where the uh, ring gear was hitting for whatever reason and this magnet was covered in shavings it looks fresh but i don't know it's all got oil in there so i don't know if it's from that for me putting the yoke on but gear oil is gross i never had this open so i'll show you over here got everything laid out here for the most part um here's the new pinion get ready to start pressing bearings onto it got the old crush sleeve new crush sleeve eliminator um, i'm gonna go through these shims and measure them and uh make up the difference for these and then add a few thousands uh there's the old caps see and i'm working on the pinion housing right now from pressing out the bushing he's got a couple uh got a couple dingers in there so i'm just filing these edges down that way the race is sits nice and flat and also while you're here i was telling you guys about his jeep let me uh let me show you just give you a quick glance at this thing and check this thing out this thing is sick this is uh this is a dream for sure full custom cage by a local shop called sky limits fab he's running uh rhino beadlocks too prp seats full hydro 60 up front 14 in the rear 538 rcvs yeah this thing is uh this thing's a dream for sure okay so another update uh pinion's done it's at 30 inch pounds of preload which is the specs 20 to 35 so it's all set up ready to go to get that put in next and yeah then start getting the carrier put in so yeah i'll check back in next step what's up guys next morning here so um just running a final pattern i'm gonna go ahead and go with this one and i'll show you in here in a second but the rear axle is ready to have the diff cover put on. I'm going to put the ARB line in the cover. I think that's the best place to keep the line away from the ring gear and everything. So that's the step I'm at now. Here's the, the wizard himself. <laughs> but yeah, so here's the pattern we're going with. I like it. Looks good. Backlash is around like 5-6, which is in spec. So we're going to send it like we always do. Be able to get this rear one uh, buttoned up and then get started on the front got the rear end buttoned up so i'll flip the camera around and show you but, but yeah it's all set up done um numbers turned out good the airline works uh rear's locked now so it's half a rubicon i guess but i'm gonna start tearing apart the front and i'll check back in here in a couple minutes okay a little bit later here Got the front end tore apart um i'm debating on whether just pulling this axle out or not the rear is easy because it has the collar adjusters to set the backlash this one's with shims and a whole bunch of pressure for the preload so uh, i'll show you where i'm at and then i'm going to decide if i want to just take the whole thing out or not here's where we're at with the front uh everything's out with the pinion this thing is gutted again <laughs> but that's okay it's for a good cause so Hopefully a couple more hours or realistically by tomorrow, um, this one's done and hopefully going back together and uh, we'll be locked front and rear, which is exciting. The front axle is, we're buttoning it back up for the last time. So all the, we got everything set where we want it. Um, we just finished up putting the actual pinion shims in, taking out the setup bearings and uh, yeah, we're getting ready to put the carrier back in. We decided to take the whole axle out because once we got it to where we needed it, there was only like six bolts left and it's way easier to do it here on the stand and we had to take the carry in and out probably i don't know eight or ten times so but yeah that's where we're at we're gonna get this set up and there's the wizard himself <laughs> and uh get it put back in the jeep so i'll check back in once it's bolted in all right guys good news uh jeep's back in the shop so both axles are done everything's working working really good for now i got about 200 miles on the rear axle 
in the front i just tested out a few times but obviously with the locking hubs it's not hooked in all the time so but yeah everything's going great the airlines are all ran everything's good to go um i'll show you what they look like here i actually just picked up some uh oem rubicon sliders to throw on this thing for now just to protect the the pinch seam because i'm going the trip i'm going on this weekend is is nothing crazy at all but there is some trails i mean I don't think there's anything that's going to be high enough to even hit that rocker, but I'll have them just in case. So let me show you what this thing's looking like. So here's the front axle all done. That Yukon cover is, it looks so good, but I do have some clearance issues. Turning the whole way, the tie rod hits it, but I'm either going to go to, I'll probably just go to offset Himes if I can make them work with the knuckles, or if that don't work, I'll just have to go down to maybe inch and a half tubing instead of inch and three quarter. Yeah, I'll take you out and show you the rear. Here's the uh, slider just picked up in the wife's car while we were out at the store. <laughs> and here's the rear, matching diff cover. They're not good. I don't, I don't love where the airline's at. Um, it's gonna work for now. I didn't want to hole saw into my truss just yet. Which I might end up doing if that becomes a problem. I have extra fittings in case that does get hit. But if it does, then maybe I'll hole saw into the truss. I should have tapped it before I put the truss on, but I wasn't uh, that far ahead of the game. Yeah, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this video. I know it was not uh, instructional. Inst is that a word? Sure. But uh, I've never done gears before, so it'd be wrong for me to put out a video teaching and telling people how to do it when I didn't even know what I was getting. Well, I knew what I was getting into, but... I've never done it, so I have no experience doing it. So I didn't feel right making a video telling people how to do it, if that makes sense. So I hope you liked the couple clips I put in of the progress. And, uh, yeah, soon we'll be uh, wheeling this thing, which is exciting. Like I said, I got that trip coming up this weekend. Maybe I'll see some of you there, maybe. But, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, share with a friend. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.